Hello, hello, hello. It is Laura. It is Saturday afternoon around 4.30, just after 4.30. Uh, just thought I'd pop on, say hi. Um, still doing my daily lives um, with you all. So today's quote is um, from T.S. Eliot and it says, every moment is a fresh beginning. So, um, no matter how your day has been going, just remember every moment, he didn't even say like every day, he said every moment is a fresh beginning. So we finish one thing and we start with a new thing right off the bat. So every day is a fresh beginning. Um, I just l think that sentiment brings such hope um, that the, the next thing we do today or the next thing we do tomorrow um, will be better than maybe it is right now. So don't um, be upset that if you're having a bad day, that is just one moment in time. But remember the next moment that we have is always a, an opportunity for a fresh beginning. Um, what I've also found, and let me pull it back up because my picture disappeared on me, um, is, you know, a lot of us um, do, well, we all have anxiety at some point in our lives, right? And some of us are um, maybe a little more susceptible to being anxious and worrisome about things. Um, me personally, I don't find myself anxious about everyday normal kind of things. I have more of the ir irrational fears, like I'm not flying, I'm not going on a cruise, um, what else am I not doing? Um, you know, things like that. But I don't really tend to worry too much about other things. That's not to say that I don't have some worrisome days. And so what I have found is um, as a recovery coach that there are methods that we can do, um, coping skills that are healthy to help us get us through those anxious moments. And one of them, it's called grounding. Um, but what it means is, um, that we do a certain process and it talks and calms us down through it, through that moment. Um, so like the first thing that you would do is you were, you're gonna look around you and you're gonna find five things that you can see, okay? You're, you're utilizing your senses at this moment. So if you're anxious and really stressing about something, you're going to take a moment, think about the five senses. And the first one we're gonna start with is sight. We're gonna look around and find five things um, that I can see. Then I'm the next thing I'm going to do is find four things that I can touch. Um, uh, so you're going to use the sense of, of touch there. Um, let's see. Um, uh, so that's, you know, so we've done five things that we can see, four things that we can touch, three things that we can hear. Now that might be challenging for somebody like me who's hard of hearing, but you know, I, if I can hear my son talking, if I can hear my husband talking, if I can hear a bird outside, then maybe that's what um, I, I, I'm going to focus on. So I'm going to try to find three things that I can hear. Then I'm going to find two things that I can smell. And w the last thing that I would do is one thing that I can taste. So if you can taste that drink of water that you just had, you know, but you do these things, these five step, uh, five senses and these five steps as many times as, as it, um, you need to get through that anxious moment. Um, so some of us, you know, we can do this maybe on our own if we consciously practice it and specifically make sure that we're doing it. But we don't have to do it by ourselves. We can reach out and ask somebody else to do it with us. So if you're in a room and you're feeling anxious about something and your buddy is there or even a stranger, just ask them, say, hey, look, I need some help focusing right now and I want you to help me find the five things that I can see right now. And the five things I can see right now are my Christmas trees behind me. See all my trees, my ornaments. Um, I could specifically even just use that one item, that one big large thing and find uh, specifically each of the ornaments that I see. I could count them as one individual, um, each as an individual item. Um, then you go through your um, touch and the uh, uh, smell and the um, taste and 
what's the other one? Oh, hearing. <laughs> so, you know, go through those, those steps again. And I have the picture posted on the page uh, called Conversations of Support um, so that you don't have to um, try and remember it all just based on what I've said right now. So go and check out that page. Um, print it out um, or make your own copy of it. Um, put it in your wallet, carry it with you. Um, you know, being anxious is not bad. It only becomes hard and difficult when it starts affecting the all of your life. Um, and some of us just need a little extra help with that. Um, sometimes we're going to do it uh, quite often and sometimes our, um, we might not be that anxious. I'm starting to get a little anxious about a doctor's appointment I have on Monday morning. Um, I'll be honest with you. We'll be talking about that tomorrow uh, because I'm going to uh, need some encouragement for that one. Um, have to do a reevaluation for the kidney transplant list and you know life's throwing its little curveballs at me too so life is not always perfect and um you know so i'm i'm starting to get a little anxious about it i've managed to keep it off uh in tucked away in the back of my mind for a little bit while we've been here at the ocean pines house so uh, we head home tomorrow but uh so you know I, we're, we all struggle and, and some days we struggle more than others, right? So today, you know, it's been a nice easy day at home. Stayed in my sweats because it's cold outside. Um, so I'm just kind of doing things around the house. Um, so that calms me if I, ha if I have stuff that I can do around the house. Um, but I like following the grounding um, method too uh, when I'm really starting to um, get overly stressed about it. Uh, so so take the time to go read that picture again, you know, the, that has everything listed um, and work your way through the senses and um, learn how to um, maybe have some healthy coping skills for when we're anxious. Um, uh, being anxious can affect our own health uh, physically. We don't we we don't tend to feel well when we're overly anxious. So um, I'm always looking for ways to to do it in a healthy manner. We don't need to pick um, necessarily you know the unhealthy methods. Um, drugs and alcohol are not our choice. Um, uh, uh, we we can do this in other ways, and we can do it in a positive, healthy way. Um, that has a positive effect on us. So um, try these out. Let me know how it works for you. Um, and then just remember every day I will be coming on live at some point um, during the day when I can uh, hide from uh, son and the husband so that I can do my little um, my live without them being with me so you know hey neighbor I see Mr. Pete there so <laughs> Mr. Pete we gotta head back to the other house tomorrow so um you know we we always enjoy our our time here down at uh our second home and uh we'll be back in March but uh you know, we have to go home and take care of some of these adult things like doctor's appointments and meetings and things like that. So um, uh, just remember my whole point for today is that every moment is a new beginning. So let what has already happened, that moment before that maybe wasn't so great, let it go and focus on what we've got coming in in the next step because that is always an opportunity for us to have a better uh, moment okay so um, uh, again I believe in you thank you so much for um, listening to me um, and I hope you're enjoying my ramblings a little bit um, so I'm learning as I go. Um, it'll be interesting to see where I find um, at the other house where I end up doing my lives from there because I just love my Christmas tree here. See, isn't it pretty? And did you see that one over here? This is one of those outside ones that I wrapped blue and green and white lights on and I put beach colored um, uh, Christmas balls on it. So I brought it inside and I left it up so I've got to figure out where I'm going to do my lives when we're back at the other house. I still have my little tree up there too. Gracie left it up for me. So 
Um, we shall see, but um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and um, I appreciate the support that we can give each other by having conversations of support, because that means a lot to me. Um, I know that um, a lot of us are struggling um, this time of year with the weather is not, we, some of us need our warmth and the sunshine and we haven't been able to get it. So, uh, um, so that kind of helps keep us in a kind of a, a eh, funky mood, right? So we're going to hope and, and that uh, if winter isn't really going to be here this, this year, then we're going to, uh, um, wish for a nice uh, dry spring and a lovely warm summer so that we can um, focus on the good. And so if you're just joining me, thank you very much. If you're watching on the replay, I appreciate you. Today's quote um, is from T.S. Eliot and it, um, he says, every moment is a uh, fresh beginning. Um, so just remember, what has happened has happened. What will come is an opportunity for something new. And for me, that brings me hope, okay? So I am a hopeful type person. I, um, uh, I, I'm always trying to be hopeful about the future and positive. Um, if you're like my son, he would be, um, uh, He's a little more, more on the pessimistic side of life, so <laughs> I don't know how he's my son with that, but uh, um, always have hope, always know that we have the opportunity for a new beginning and nothing is ever too big for us to handle and nothing has to be handled by itself. We are all friends here. We um, all have our community of friends, so um, reach out to one, one another and um, Let's continue to have our conversations of support. So do your five groundings that I explained um, and I have a picture in the post um, using your five senses and um, let me know if that works for you or let me know in the comments if you have a um, coping um, mechanism or, or um, process that you use when you become anxious about something that may help one of us on here because each of us will have our own way of coping through our uh, our our anxiety um, uh, so what may work for one person or for me may not work for you um, but I can at least share it and if you have a technique that works great for you please share it with us and, and that way we can all um, benefit from it so have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Um, blessings to you, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.